I'm Joel Ivy Johnson and I'll be doing a quick demonstration on how to make a translation application within Windows Phone 7. So some of my goals and constraints um, I want to make use of the Microsoft uh, Translation Web Service and, on, and I want to be able to do the construction of this interface in about 15 minutes so I'll be using snippets to speed up construction and all the snippets you see me using are general purpose and none of, none of them are specific to this program. And my only goal right now is that this program should be functional. I'm not concerned with um, the user interface being as friendly as possible. I'll take care of that uh, in another iteration of this program. Um, and if you want more information on a Microsoft Translator uh, web service, you can find the web service hosted at that first URL that I have uh, listed. And for general information, just go to Microsoft Translator microsofttranslator.com slash tools and in order to make use of it you do need to have a Bing developer ID you can, oh, I'm sorry, a Bing app ID you can get that from bing.com slash developer and the four uh, web service calls of interest that I'll be using over the course of the next few videos are, are get languages for translate translate, get languages for speak and speak and I'll only really be making use of the, the first two uh, web service calls within this uh, first video that you're seeing. I'm starting a new project in Visual Studio. And this is going to be a regular Windows Phone application. And I think that the name Lingo is an appropriate name for it. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is add a service reference to the Microsoft Translator service. I already have the URL for it on my clipboard. And for this service, I'm going to name it Microsoft Translator. Whatever you do, don't name it with something that starts with Microsoft dot. If you do, then it's going to cause problems. Okay, the service reference is added. Um, now I need to go ahead and add my own view model. I like to keep my view model in a different folder. Uh, this just needs to be a class. I'll call it Translator View Model. And use my snippet to go ahead and declare my property change event in handler. And also we're adding properties to this in just a bit. I'm going to go ahead and build my UI. So I'll take the basic UI that it's already given me and I'll just add to this. So I'm going to keep this as a vertically oriented UI. I need to have a role for um, the language that we're translating from. I need to have another role for the person to enter the text being translated. A role in which the person can specify what language we're translating to. And then a role in which I'm going to display the translated phrase now to enter the elements that I need to have on these rows. I'll use a combo box to allow them to select what language I'm translating from. Go to the next row of a text box in which they can enter the phrase to be translated. Another combo box for the person to select what uh, language you're translating to. And finally, a text box for um, the result phrase. You know, I, need, I actually need one more row. And 
on this row, I want to put my my button for translation. When you click on this button, the translation will occur. So I need to also go ahead and add a row to my row definitions for this. So that takes care of my UI, just quickly going through it. You notice that you can't see the, um, ah, I forgot something. Guess it would help if within my button I actually put some text so that the person knew what was there. And you can't see the rows for where they're selecting the language. Um, since the combo box don't have any content, they're rendering to zero height, so they don't show up here yet. So we'll come back to the UI in just a second. I'm going to switch back to the view model and put in some of the fields that I need. So I need to fill out the original phrase, the translated phrase, the original language, and a translated language. Um, so let me start off by creating those. And most of these are going to be of type string. So the original phrase, the original language. The translated phrase. And the translated language. There's a couple of other things that I need. I need to have a list of the available languages available for translation. There's a using statement that's missing. So let's see. So that takes care of the uh, list of available languages. We have the translated language, translated from, translated to. Ah, we still need a method for translating, and we also need to add a uh, client for this Microsoft service. So actually I'll add a using statement for it too. We need a language service client. So I need to make a constructor, and within a constructor um, I can initialize the language service client. And there are some events on it that I need to subscribe.